Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is J.1700. To all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am looking so forward to getting to know each and every one of you. To my old subscribers, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all so much. I am nothing without you guys. To everyone who has viewed my videos, whether you like them or dislike them, I truly appreciate you. Look, this has been a long, long week in life and on these YouTube streets. So I said, let me leave some inspiration. I said I was going to do this from time to time. So today's inspiration is called Wash and Moisturize. Wash and Moisturize. Look, I know that everyone who clicks on my videos may not be a believer and follower of Jesus Christ, which is okay. Jesus Christ left for us to read, study, and follow have been the keys for everything good in my life. So hopefully you'll find some inspiration in them like I did. So today's inspiration comes from the 6th chapter of Matthew, the 17th and 18th verses. You can read them for yourself, they're on the screen. But these verses are instructions to the disciples. And he tells them, to wash and moisturize while you're going through a fast. Don't look like you're going through a fast so people can react to you or feel sorry for you, but look like you have it going on because what you do in secret, God will reward you openly. Now, these instructions make it clear that hygiene is important according to God. We are not meant to walk around ashy and funky. Can I get an amen out there? But more than just hygiene, God intends for us to wash and moisturize our spirits and souls too. For Christians, fasting is a time where we sacrifice something as a sign of surrender and trusting in God. Most people fast from food, but some people may fast from television, or certain types of music or social media or the telephone either way is a time where a believer says God I'm believing you and trusting you for your promises for my life that is a way of washing our spirit and soul wash your spirit and soul by cutting away negative energy cutting away negative people and even in the midst of situations and troubles that may cast you down you go to a place where you just take your cares and burdens to a higher power and you believe and trust that there is an end to what you're going through. That is how you wash your spirit. And you moisturize your spirit and soul by being around positive people, reading inspiring things, having positive conversations, listening to good news. It doesn't just have to be gospel, because God love gospel, but anything that makes your spirit feel good, that makes you feel good and positive about life, that's how you moisturize your spirit and soul. So I encourage you, to, whether it's through fasting, whether it's through some self-reflection, wash your spirit and soul through positive conversation, positive energy, laughter, moisturize your spirit and soul. And hopefully that will motivate you to look good too and smell good. Because when you look and smell good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. So I encourage you today, in the midst of all that may be going on in life and on these streets, that you wash and moisturize. Feel free to leave your feedback or some inspiration below. I truly love you guys. God bless you. Have a blessed rest of this weekend and hopefully a blessed week.